Hello, hello, everybody. And today we're going to be going on a blue jelly treasure hunt. <laughs> so a few months ago, this tank that is full of mixed grade reds and there's even some yellow genetics left in here, but it's mostly tons and tons of red shrimp. I threw in a handful of blue jelly shrimp. Now, when you mix reds and blue jellies, because they're closely related, you have a chance to get red rillies. And you can even get shrimp that are kind of like this guy here, that are blue with red on the head and red on the tail, and we call those blue red rillies. There's a really good really right there. A really, really, really good really, really. <laughs> but as you can see, what we wanted to happen is starting to happen, but I feel like if we put some more blue jelly genetics in here, that would be good. Reds, blues, and red rillies, and blue red rillies are all closely related together like that. There's a blue jelly with a spot of red on it. That's weird. So we're starting to get some reds on blues, and we're getting some blue rillies pop, or red rillies popping up. We're starting to show signs of really, and we got some pretty decent ones. But we, I want to get a lot more red reallys, and hopefully get some more blue red reallys popping up. Then we can separate them out and make our own line with. And since blue jellies, 99% of the bad blue jellies that I call out are ones that have red dots on the head or the tail, or both. You see blue jellies, they kind of want to go to be red because they're closely related to reds. And so when you end up calling, when you end up getting bad shrimp, you end up getting some with reds on their, red on their head. Let's see, find one. Uh, these guys are really, this is a really, really good shrimp line. And so you really have to look hard, hard, hard. I can hardly ever find any bad ones in this tank, except for a few here and there. I know I saw one like last week that had a big red patch on his face. And I went to go get him out and I couldn't find him again. I'm hoping we can find that guy, but I'm not seeing it. And we are looking at hundreds of shrimp here and having a hard time finding a bad one. Some of the little ones are kind of light. There might be a few lighter ones we could pull out, but mainly we're after the ones with the red. There's one. All right. See how the antennas? little filler things there are red all right we gotta try to i gotta try to find something to catch him i lost like two or three of them and then other times i'll stand up here and i look and i look and i'm sure after you guys are probably watching a video and i'll probably watch the video back I'm like there's one right there you blind dummy there's another one. Oh my god why isn't he getting them well right here and here and now i'm standing on a ladder Holding my camera and holding my net. See? Oh my goodness. And I'm leaning. I'm sitting there up here on the ceiling. That's the ceiling. Woo. All right. Let's see if we can find. Oh man. One. I see it. They're so much easier when you zoom in with the camera to find, but then when you try to catch them, you can't see it. Let's see if we can find one. There's some really nice ones. Looking for red. Red, 
Red. Oh. I guess it's a good sign that it's this hard to find bad ones. I'm trying to pull bad trim to put it in my breeding colony. I can't get any. The best I can find is in this tank. Is one of those little red dots on their face that I can't even see unless I have the camera zoomed in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess we got a couple. This one's kind of weird looking. Man. I saw, see, I see a little piece of red. Where'd it go? All right. I can't even catch it unless I, this guy's got like red on his tail, right? There. Did we get him? Well, we got a bunch of ones we don't want to get. We got that one. Hey, we got one. There's a little tiny dot of red on his butt. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to make a video about this and I can't find any ones with red on them. I'm trying to show you guys. One more good look. And see if we can find any. That I can actually see with my bare eyes and not zoomed in with an HD camera. <laughs> I'd say those are some pretty good shrimp. All right, we got more than just this tank though. Let's go take a look at the other blue jelly tanks. We're not gonna get to this tank today, but this tank is gonna get its own video. <laughs> We've got a lot. Oh, uh, what is, do we have a bad one right there on top? It looks like there's a dot of red on it. Yeah, there is, there's a dot of red on that sucker right there. Let's see if we can catch this sucker. We did. Oh, look at that. We sit there and look through hundreds and hundreds. Another tank. And we just glance and there's one sitting right there on top of the moss. Man, this tank went crazy when I got the new light on it. Duckweed likes the new light. The moss likes the new light. And algae likes the new light. We're going back to the red. Where we're mixing them. There's a couple of the more red reallys. There's another red reallys. Not the best, but. First, they exist in here, and so we're getting where we want. Well, I think we just need more blue jelly shrimp in here. Because there really is not that much. There might be like, I might have put like 30 in here. And there's already like 800 red shrimp. And then we're at the 20 gallon long, and look what we got there. Well, look at that. Beautiful treasure abomination at the same time. <laughs> All right, I really want to make sure I catch this guy, so I don't know if I want to be able to film it. This is the blue jelly 20 gallon high. And we've got blue jelly walls in here. I'm letting algae grow in here. Even on the front right now. So it's pretty hard to call, but <laughs> they're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Look at that all of them on the glass. All right, so we got, I did end up getting two or three out of this tank here. Plus a few extras that are just kind of, eh, they're not that great. <laughs> there, there's even more of them gathering up now. Let's see. Those blue jellies look so pretty now, they pop out. Amongst all the red shrimp, but we need more of them. And here is the new blue jelly pond. I was looking in here the other day and I saw a couple. Now this one is kind of going south on the head. So let's see what we can do with these. All right. So this thing, this pond is really starting to come along now. Got that one. We're starting to get 
started getting algae growing on the glass. And as soon as that happens, we get tons of seed shrimp. Then we also get tons of little baby shrimp. Ooh, look at this one. This one's really bad. That's weird. Get the red on that one. The red head on that one. Maybe these will make us some... Maybe with these we'll have a better chance of making some blue-red reallys. Alright. Let's take another look. You can see more. Red heads or butts. Hmm. I, I think that, that last one I caught that was really bad was one of the ones I saw. Usually the ones with the red on them, it's noticeable. <laughs> Love it. Like I was saying, this is a pretty dang good blue jelly line. And we have to hunt and hunt and hunt for our treasure. <laughs> treasure calls. Let's see. Man. I really do not see any more. All right, let's see if we can get a good look at some of these guys that we collected. Now, I think that is one of the ones I didn't mean to get, but actually I say there we got some with a really dull color. There's the one that we got. That one has a lot of red on it. That one has a lot of red on it and it's like clear. That one has devolved quite a bit. So we got some dull colors. We've got a couple with a lot of red and we've got some with dull colors and we got some that, oops, we didn't mean to put you in there, but here you are. <laughs> All right, so let's put these guys in the project tank. I really thought we'd get more treasure than that. Blue jelly treasure with a, what we call it? Hunting for blue jelly ruby headed treasure. Eh. All right, but I guess the best thing about this is, is I now I've got a really, really good blue jelly line. It's the only bad ones you can find. It takes a 4K or 8K camera to zoom in to see the red dots on their face. I, I'm definitely gonna have to get some more blue jellies in here. There's a nice. Really? No, well, I guess it don't have much red on its butt. Just a red, a clear shrimp with a red head. That's a pretty good yellow one. There aren't too many good yellow ones that show up. Those are pretty distant in the past of this tank. <laughs> the yellows have not been in here for a long time. It's crazy you put in, there's like seven or eight yellow shrimp left in here that quit breeding. And you put in 500 reds, 30, 40, 50 blue jellies, and you start getting yellows again. Sweet. Well, a bunch of these wilds are yellows mixed with reds. All right, you guys, hope you had fun with our little treasure hunt today. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.